Hello from the noble city of Yazd, as Marco Polo would say. Our journey of Yazd started in Isfahan. We drove for five hours to get to this beautiful city. Hello from Yaz, one of the most famous city in Iran. This place is famous for its architecture and also the desert, beautiful deserts actually. Now we are heading to our hostel. This is the garden of the hostel that we're gonna stay and it's really nice. Look at these trees. Because it's springtime, flowers blossom right now and it gives off a really good smell. It's really nice here. So we're gonna go out and explore, yes, but we got so tired and after dinner we just wanted to sleep and get up early in the morning, so that's what we're gonna be doing. What did you say about the bed? No, I, I get the bed. And what did you do? Uh, you should sleep what on should the floor. You? What? You, dude, I told Dibs on the bed, so the bed and is mine. And what should we do? Oh, uh, you can find the mattress, it's, it's under here. Oh, honey! <laughs> I just said dips on the bed and they're just jealous about it. They just can't take it. Bu bir kültür biz birkaç gün bunu alışmaya çalışıyoruz. Her otelde böyle değil ama genelde butiklerde bu şekilde. Yataklarınızı bu şekilde hazırlamak zorundasınız. Good morning guys. Good morning. So now we are gonna have breakfast. So now we are having our breakfast in the garden. It looks really nice and relaxing here. We are now at the top of our hostel and we're gonna fly our drone from here to get some amazing shots of yes. Our drone pilot, Daryush, is gonna fly now. Fly, you fool, fly! <laughs> So now we are heading out of our hostel and there's a bazaar in front of our hostel, that's why it's really crowded. They're singing an old poetry for Navruz here. It's so joyful. I think we're lucky to catch this one here. They're giving gifts to us. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So we continued wandering in the streets and while we were wandering we came across with a violin workshop and decided to go in. A few years ago there was a fire here and his workshop got burned down and this violin was the only one that survived. That's why he hangs it on the wall. Wandering in the streets of Yaz was like finding your way in a maze. You may see interesting things in every corner. Now we are in the city center of Yaz and the mosque behind me is called Masjid Jami. In 
Yes, there are a lot of copper artworks. Uh, they're working on coppers and making designs out of copper. And it looks really nice, for example, this one. Ich heiße Halil, wie heißt du? Halil? Ja. Ich bin Ali. Ali, freue ich mich. Aber Jimi Hendrix. <laughs> Jimi Hendrix Ali. <laughs> This street is like full of handcrafts, handmade stuff. And people here are so nice. I wish I could understand, they're all Persian, you know that, right? <laughs> So she, he makes these, right? So we came back to our hostel to our, eat our lunch and then we're gonna hit the road uh, to see the deserts of Yazd and then we're gonna go to a castle, a beautiful castle. Let's have our lunch and then hit the road. And by the way, um, wait a second. And by the way, the street that I just sh showed you is the entrance of our hostel, you know, where they make the handcrafts. Oh, this is so nice. The hostel we're staying has an amazing rooftop. You can even see the street from up here. What's the name of this? Kashke Badem Jun. Kashke Badem Jun. It's an Iranian food. Now I'm gonna try it and it looks amazing. Look okay, at this. Try it. Mmm. This is so good. Kashke Badem Jun. Yeah, Kashke Badem Jun. Well, it is 41 degrees and now we are heading to the desert. <laughs> it's called Karakal Desert and we're gonna be there in one our 30 minutes. Before we go to the desert, I wanted to take you to the castle that I told you about today in the morning. Uh, this place is amazing. There are a lot of palm trees next to the castle. And the thing is, this place is actually a, a hotel. We're gonna go and check it out inside now and I'm gonna show you how this place looks. Let's go and find out. We are heading up to the castle now. So this place was built 350 years ago. They actually turned this place into a hotel three years ago right before the coronavirus and now it's an eco castle for uh, staying it's eco castle right is, is that even a thing eco castle it's an eco castle eco castle means you um, uh, didn't know that was a thing you know, oh for ecotourism, yeah. Ecotourism, everything here is low cost mm -hmm. and we pay uh, a lot of attention to uh, surrounding area. Yeah, even even yeah, surrounding environment, even we have some boxes for environment uh, environmental helps, aids. Okay. And uh, even we are uh, supporting Karakal, you know what's Karakal? Yeah. That that um, You mean the Linux? Uh, that animal, yeah, yeah. Oh, it, can we yes. see it here? Is it uh, actually, not because they are so uh, less now. Less now okay. nowadays, uh, but it used to live in this uh, Area. desert because of it. They uh, name it Karakal. <laughs> If 
first it was not planned to be in, supposed to be a castle. It was like a village here by origin. Uh, actually the people uh, built here uh, and lived in the houses. And each house used to be a room. Actually a room was a house, was a home for a family. How many people were living here? You can say uh, it has like uh, 54 rooms, okay. but some rooms were used as some barns okay. or maybe uh, storage of some grass, mm -hmm. whatever, or even some animals as stables, whatever. Okay. Uh, so you can say uh, something between 35 to 50 rooms were used for living. Okay. Each family in each room. So around 100 people would live here. You can say that in, in summers and the springs because it was too hot here to. Okay to sleep inside the uh, rooms, they would go to the roof yeah. and there are some flat places on yeah. the roof. They would the, sleep on, on the roofs? Yeah, they would sleep on the roof. Okay. They would actually watch stars and nice. actually... The prices are between 35 to $60. <laughs> and I think it's worth it. I'm actually not staying here for the night. I just came here to show you this beautiful place and a place to stay and it looks really beautiful by the way. Now I'm gonna head out to the desert and uh, I'm gonna have my sunset over there. So we are heading out there now. I'll see you on the road. First time in desert, so I'm really curious about the desert. I have never been to a desert before in my life, so I'm really, really hyped for this. Oh, this looks so good. <laughs> Took off my shoes. I'm now walking barefoot. It is amazing. I've never been to a desert, but I didn't know that it was so calming and relaxing. It is just amazing. Mm. I was playing with the sand. <laughs> Again. I really love this place, that's why I want to say goodbye here. It was so nice in Yaz. If you do come here, please enjoy it for me as well, because it's so nice out here. There are so many good places. People are so nice and friendly. So yeah, uh, if you liked the video, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye, my friend. You've been the one. You've been the one for me. <laughs> Singing is not one of my best features.